Hello everyone, this is Kalen Karen Vasquez from DivingDragonGames.com and YourCardSleeves.com and I'm here to show you how to prep your artwork to be used on a custom art card sleeve. Now you'll notice in the description below I've linked to two different templates. You can also find these on YourCardSleeves.com in the shop section. And these are for the two most common types of card sleeves, those being American Standard, which covers the majority of card games produced in the United States, as well as Japanese, which covers many imported card games, generally based on popular anime series. Now the program I'm going to be using today is GIMP, which is a free program that allows you to use transparent images as well as layered images, which, well, that's kind of what we need today. So let me go ahead and load in GIMP. Now what the templates are, are transparent PNG files that show the border that's needed for the card sleeves to be tournament legal at least when it comes to card games that allow you to use third-party art sleeves. So let me go ahead and load in my template. Now by default these templates are set up to take 600 pixel per inch images, though I am capable of working with lower resolutions. I would suggest going no lower than 300 pixels per inch for your image, because below that you're going to get a little bit of pixelation, which would ruin the overall quality of the sleeve. Now, like I said, this image is set up to be 600 pixels per inch, though the image I'm working with today is actually 300 pixels per inch, so we're going to have to resize our template. To do that, all you do is open the scale image option, which you saw, let me go ahead and reopen that for you. It's under image, scale image. Now here we have our resolution, which I'm going to set to 300 pixels per inch, and I should go ahead and note that by default GIMP does maintain your aspect ratio, though you could change that if you like. Uh, that's what this little chain means. And I do need to resize the image as well, because just changing up the resolution will not help me. I need to shrink it by 50%. So let's go ahead and select percent and put in 50. And there you go. It is now scaled up to take a 300 pixel per inch image. So let me go ahead and load in the image that I'm going to be using today. It's a public domain poster from an old magician by the name of Thurston. Let's see if it'll allow me to load in the image. There we go. And I've already resized it, though due to the transparent nature of the template, resizing is not necessary because it allows you to just drop and reposition. But Let's go ahead and copy this image and paste it into our template. Now we're not just going to do a control V paste, no, we're going to have to paste it as a new layer. So go ahead and go into edit, paste as, new layer. And we need to get that in the middle, so we're going to use the alignment tool over here. Click on our new layer and align it to the center and center again. Last but not least, we need to put the border as our top layer. So as you see over here in the layers and whatnot, we're going to select the background layer, which is the default name of our border. Go over to Layer, Stack, Layer to Top, or Raise Layer, either will work. And there you go. Now if I wanted, I could just stick with this, because this is now a properly prepped image. But I don't like the black border. Um, I think it clashes. So what I'm going to do is actually once again selecting the layer for the border. Click on that and we've got our border selected. Actually I'm going to zoom in really quick. I want to figure out a good color that I want to make this border. So let's go ahead and choose the color picker tool. Hmm. Let's go with the blue for the original board. Let's just give this a try. So I'm going to have to go back down to the bottom. Got that. Bucket fill. Wish me luck. Eh, that's okay, but let's try something different. As long as this border is a solid color, you're set. So let's see, 
Let's try one of the darker blues. And at this point, you've seen the entire tutorial. You can just save your image and send it to me, but there we go. I like this. And last but not least, let's go ahead and anchor layer, though you don't need to anchor layer or merge it down and whatnot, because when you save the image, it's going to merge them for you. And there you go. That is a properly formatted custom art card sleeve image. Then you just go to save. Let's go to save as. And it allows you to save it as whatever you want. Now, you do not have a drop down when it comes to saving as an image file. So you're going to have to know your uh, format type. I suggest saving it as a PNG, which by default it will be. And let's just call this eh, sleeve number one. Let's be generic. So just save it as a PNG file. It'll ask you all of these different things. Uh, just leave them checked as default. Save. And there you go. Your image is now ready to be emailed. Um, I suggest emailing it to uh, submissions at yourcardsleeves.com. Though that inbox is automated, so if you have any questions, uh, send those to Caron at DivingDragonGames.com. And that's it for prepping your image to be used on a custom art card sleeves. I look forward to working with you in the future.